The late Mr. Lee, Kuan Yu's younger son, Mr. Lee Xin Yang, has condemned the ruling party minister, Desmond Lee's open letter against him, castigating it as a series of hit hominem attacks and lies. Not stopping there, Mr. Lee Yi, Xin Yang criticized Prime Minister, Lee Xin Long, his elder brother as well, calling him, the highest paid Prime Minister in the world. Rocked by recent scandals, the government was trying to silence its critics, Mr. Lee Xin Yang told the Independent Singapore on July 26. Assailing the open letter containing ad hominem attacks and lies. Mr. Lee Xin Yang told the Independent Singapore, in the face of the multitude of scandals, it is a craven government that focuses on attacking and seeking to silence its critics rather than assuming responsibility for its failings. Asserting that the scandals were tarnishing the ruling People's Action Party and his father, the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's legacy, he added, the PAP needs to reflect what the scandals mean to its reputation and to LHL's legacy. Mr. Lee also took issue with the minister, who said his brother, PM Lee, has given his life to serving Singapore. Mr. Lee told this publication, it is a privilege to serve not a sacrifice, particularly as the highest paid prime minister in the world. Mr. Li Yi, Xin Yang criticized Prime Minister Li Xinlong, adding, the whole fuss of all oh, these people could make so much money outside anyway. You cannot bask in this moral sanctity while enjoying both wealth and power beyond the dreams of most citizens. Arguing that PM Li Yi should take responsibility for the scandals that have taken place under his leadership. He said, a prime minister is captain of the ship and should be accountable. In any proper democracy, there would have been a change of PM with so many scandals swirling. Earlier, National Development Minister Desmond Li Yi criticized Mr. Li Xin Yang in an open letter published on Pattaya.sg July 26, asserting that Mr. Li Yi deliberately wants to bring down his estranged elder brother, Prime Minister Li Xin Long's government. The open letter came three days after the younger Li Yi questioned public trust in PM Li's regime, pointing to a spate of recent scandals. Contending that trust in his brother and his late father's ruling People's Action Party PAP has been shattered, he said on Facebook. Trust has to be earned. It cannot simply be inherited. PM Lee Shin Long's failure of leadership has squandered that trust. Mr. Desmond Lee responded to the criticism with his open letter. Mr. Desmond Lee's open letter contended that Mr. Lee Shin Yang was trying to bring down his elder brother's government. Referring to the post Mr. Li Xin Yang had made on July 23rd, the minister said, Mr. Li Xin Yang is pursuing this vendetta because he wants to bring down the government as well as the PAP, the party his father founded. I'm saddened by him using falsehoods to attack his brother who has given his life to serving Singapore. Citing the judgment of the disciplinary tribunal that had suspended Mr. Li Xin Yang's wife, senior lawyer Li Suet Fern, from her legal practice for 15 months over her alleged misconduct relating to Mr. Li Kuan Yu's will, Mr. Desmond Li said Mr. Li Xin Yang's latest action is consistent with his duplicitous conduct towards his father, the late Mr. Li Kuan Yu. Mr. Desmond Li added, that Mr. Li Yi, Xin Yang and his wife had fled the country and ended his letter by stressing that the couple's goal was to bring the PM down despite the damage that would do to the government and the Singaporean people. The government said on Tuesday, July 25th, that Mr. Li Xin Yang's references to the latter two controversies contained false statements of facts and issued a correction order under the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act POFMA. Mr. Li complied with the POFMA order, but said in a separate post that he stood by his assertion that trust in his brother's leadership had been lost.